Oh, cue cards up. Welcome to Tour of Confessions, episode 12 by Murphy's Law Garage. Today, we're sponsored by... What? Did that say sponsored by? It does! Stick around to find out by who. So, what's up? Not much and a whole bunch, all okay. at the same time. So, two enormous things have happened in this past week. Uh, Got thing one for MLG... We've become monetized, and we're collecting literal pennies. Literal. <laughs> literal we, pennies. We are now a company worth tens of dollars. <laughs> tens of dollars. Well, we're in the negative still for all the money we spent, so. Right. I mean, we'll work our way out of that. Deep in the <laughs> negative. We'll, we'll get into the black at some point. Uh, and also, we've collected or gotten or I, what is the proper term for getting a sponsor? We've been blessed with having our first sponsor. <laughs> there you go. Um, so the whole jack stand video thing, the Harbor Freight jack stand recall, has been huge for the channel. It got us to monetization. We've got all of these subscribers now. Over 175,000 views on YouTube. It has reached 1.7 million people. It's crazy. It's, it's insane. It I didn't really know there was that many people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um. And it really has sparked this enormous debate inside of our video comments. You know, there are people, astonishingly, that will defend the horrible Harbor Freight Jack stands to no end, saying that we abuse the, those stands and that's why they failed. And it's just not correct. And then just as many, if not more, people come to went, came to us and asked, hey, Murphy's Law Garage, you're saying Harbor Freight is garbage. Tell me where I should go. And my first answer is any good American is that you go to America. Only problem is we look for an American company and they're, Guess they're hard to find. There's one. <laughs> there is only one. one American manufacturer. Uno. No, it is not Matco. Uno. No, it is not Craftsman. Guess what? All of those stands are made overseas. And some of those stands are even produced by the same factory that makes your Harbor Freight jack stands. Oh yes. So you may ask yourself, what is the only US based, made in America, 100% jack stand, hydraulic jack, etc. manufacturer left? You tell me, JB, what is the only US manufacturer? US jacks company. Check it out. That's our sponsor. Proud sponsor. Very proud Very sponsor. Proud. We're, we're a small YouTube channel, and to have a sponsor this early is enormous. But when I contacted US Jack and said, hey, look, this is the video we have. I know y'all know about the Harbor Freight recall situation, and they did. We need to point Americans to an American-made product. And this is not a China bash, bash session. This is about... American economy. This is about American manufacturing. This is about pride in the, the country you live in. We can produce amazing products and we need to go back to supporting people who are here still making them and bring more work back to the United States of America. U.S. Jack is proudly, proudly, proudly based in the United States of America. And when I told them what I wanted to do, they offered to send us some of their products so that we can test them side by side with the recalled stand, with the replacement recall stand, and their jack. And we're gonna we're gonna have a series of videos. I'm gonna get I'm gonna be real shallow and over the top about which one's better than the other. And then I'm also gonna get real deep for these guys over here. We got some serious engineers and keyboard warriors that want to fight to the tooth over what is and is not defective or what a stand should or should not be. We're going to get to the bottom of it. And not only am I going to go really deep into the manufacturing and the design of these jacks, we're, we're going to go one step further. I plan to attempt to make all of these stands fail. We will beat these the living daylights out of these stands. We will not treat them nicely. We will prove to you that a United States made product is better than anything you can walk into Harbor Freight or get. Or Craftsman, for that fact. Or Matco. So how about some background information about our sponsor? I think everyone I would that. be willing to know, right? Uh, U.S. Jack Company was founded in 1998 and is a small, veteran-owned family business. Hoorah. 
We manufacture 100% USA made hydraulic jacks and service lifting equipment. The product designs and tooling were purchased from auto specialties manufacturing when they discontinued the hydraulics, the, their hydraulic jack aftermarket business in 1988. Auto Specialties Manufacturing, or OSCO, had been producing automotive jacks and service equipment since the early 1930s. U.S. Jack Company has continued the tradition that OSCO started of fine quality American-made products. U.S. Jack Company is the only manufacturer remaining in the United States that produces 100% USA-made hydraulic jacks, long ram jacks, garage stands, port of power starter kits, and service jacks. They offer an outstanding customer service, fast delivery, high quality products at competitive pricing. Our mission is to manufacture the highest quality 100% USA made hydraulic jack equipment offered at competitive prices. Our hydraulic jacks are not only for the US military, that's right. Guess who they, the majority of their supply or their, their design right from the hop is made for? That's right, the men and women serving. They are made for the military, offered to Americans at great prices. But the casual user as well. U.S. Jack Company is all about pride in USA-made products, keeping our fellow Americans working, supporting our troops with the highest quality products possible. All U.S. Jack products carry a one-year warranty against manufacturing defects and workmanship. I, I think wow. that kind of says it all, right? Yeah. Like, what red-blooded American would read that and not go, this is where I should be spending my money, especially on devices that keep you alive when you're working on your project. Would you agree, Mikey? I would agree. I would agree 100%. And you're buying military grade equipment. Correct. Obviously, they're selling to the military. And this is not a shill video. You know, we're, we're not being paid all kind of money to be like USA Jack is the best thing in the world. The fact is, is that they're the only American made Jack company in the world, so therefore they're the best Jack company in the world. I've said it, there it is. Um, US Jack has given us a coupon code to give to y'all. Um, Better jump on this. And this, this is deal. huge, right? So the whole idea behind the coupon code is to get y'all to go there and buy these better Jacks. The biggest complaint people have is the cost of high-end Jacks, right? So if you're going to get a jack or a jack stand or any of the other products, we're going to help you. And in doing so, if you go to US Jack and you buy these products and we're sending traffic their direction, you'll help our channel grow. That's how these things work, okay? So 15% off discount code, MLG15 off. That's MLG15 OFF, MLG15 off. That can be used at jack, usjack.com, usjack.com to receive 15% off your order of $25 or more on jack stands, standard or high range hydraulic bottle jacks and repair seal kits. Um, That's a deal. It is, it is. I don't think anybody else has this deal. Like no, we're, we're the first no, one. We're, to my knowledge, we're the first and only. It's exciting. Uh, right, and the jacks won't be available until the ninth, okay? And today is the fourth. So we've got five heavily anticipated days before I look these things over and I start the video series of why their product is better. And even just going over to tech specs and pictures, so on and so forth, there are some serious design implementations that make it a far superior jack than what you normally buy. You still get to maintain the ratcheting mechanism, which is quick and easy and more adjustable than pins without the hassle of the pin. It's huge. We will talk about it when they come in, but again, great detail. Yes, great, great detail. As much great detail as every person watching these videos could possibly suffer to hear, we're going to explain to you why you need to go back to USA Made. Now, what does that mean for us? We all, all of us, including you on the other side of the camera, are using products that are made overseas. And don't get me wrong, places like Japan, Australia, Sweden, Germany, all of these places, they make some fantastic product or another, right? They're very good at certain things. Like the VW Bug. <laughs> like the VW <laughs> Bug. Well, wasn't Mose mostly made in Mexico? It was German engineering, but it doesn't matter. The point is, is that fantastic products are made overseas all the time. But China just happens to be known for producing some very poor 
Okay, so not some, a lot of very poor, cheap products. Well, they, they produce such mass quantities, they just pump them out. Right. It's hard to get the kind of quality when you're pumping out a number like that. Correct. I mean, even the camera that's videoing this right now, that was an Apple product, an American company, that device is built in China. Right? So that's an example of a very expensive, high quality piece of product that is built in China, but is not a pile of junk. Uh, so part of that is to be bared by the, uh, the company that is selling these poorly manufactured products. Yeah, I think so, China, I think Wish.com. Right, that's a med <laughs> my immediate thought. You know, I think that's in a lot of people's heads. Like, this is not a bash session on China. Again, yeah. So what that means for us is that here, here going forward, we will make every attempt possible to buy things that are not cheap and poorly made. If there's an American option, we will go for the American option. We are not rich people. And there are some extremely expensive things out in this world that are American made. But what we will do is hopefully go to those manufacturers and say, hey, we want to support you on video and show people that they should be buying American. And that at Murphy's Law Garage to all of us is a very important thing to say. We are proud, proud, proud Southern Americans. You know, we bleed the red, white, and blue, and we want to support companies that are doing the right thing and making products in America still, even in a climate where it's not easy to do or hasn't been easy to do for a long time. Yeah, that's very true, and I appreciate your outlook, but I'm gonna be honest with you, if you bleed like white or blue at all, <laughs> you might wanna go to a doctor. <laughs> yeah, that might be a problem, eh? <laughs> uh, so you asked Jack, uh, if y'all are watching right now, thank you so much for this opportunity. We are not gonna waste it. We're gonna use the momentum we have with our video to get y'all more sales so that we can get more people buying safe American products. And that is what's important here. Yeah. We really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, we're gonna do everything possible to make it worth your time, make it worth our time, and make it worth the American people's time. Do it for America. Do it for America. What's cool is that uh, considering this whole fiasco with Harbor Freight mm -hmm. and all the talk we've been doing, you've really been pumping U.S. Jack in the comments and things. I have. So about it. before they ever said, hey, we'll go ahead and sponsor you and send you some product to test out, what was JB doing? It, seriously, go ahead. You can't make these things up. Go to YouTube.com. Go to the, the Harbor Freight Jack Sand Recall video and look in the comments. You will find people asking, what is an American-made product I should buy? And in there, you will find JB saying, U.S. Jack. I didn't need a sponsor to recommend them, and I don't need a sponsorship now to recommend them. If it's made in America, we should be buying in America. This, this is a big thing to be said about being able to hold a manufacturer liable for making a poor product. And someone building a product in the United States of America can be held responsible by the people of the United States of America and therefore are pressured to produce some of the best products in the world. And they have for many, 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 many years. Like GM. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see you go to Harbor Freight and really try to hold them responsible for their crappy products. They're going to say, we'll replace it for you and send you on your happy way to another broken crap product. Exactly. Yeah. We're pumped. It's going to be a long relationship, and it's going to be great. Yep, we, we hope so. We hope to be able to do whatever we can to help them, and hopefully we can do enough that we can go on our support from them, and we can continue to grow and give y'all more awesome product projects. We have so many awesome ideas, so much great content we could deliver. Uh, we just need to grow the channel. We need to get bigger. And, uh, you know, y'all know that we work on a lot of American iron around here. There's, there's no secret in that. Um, so we want to keep being able to do that and move on to doing some really, really fun things. Exactly. So the Harbor Freight jack stand recall has been in the news quite a bit. It um, has. Looks like they're up to 1.7 million jack stands to recall. So the recall started at 500,000 units. Right, and then the recall was increased to 1.7 million units covering more model numbers. It's gotten so intense that I've read in a lot of the YouTube comments, people that have watched the video and have gone to return their stands, saying that the people don't even look at the model numbers on these stands anymore. It's gotten so confusing and so expansive that they just take a stand back that's basically red or gray and not the brand new ones because it covers quite a large group of these stands. 
It, there are a lot of people who say I've had them forever and I, I haven't been injured by them. They've worked just fine. Please don't do that. Please just bring those stands back. At the, at the very least, get your money back and spend it on something at Harbor Freight on that gift card that they give you that is not life-threatening. Get some flat disc or something for your grinder. You know, maybe don't even do that. You'll end up with shrapnel thrown at your face. I don't know. Get an inadequate pair of gloves. <laughs> um, Make sure they're not cut-resistant gloves. Or... <laughs> and then immediately turn around and go to usjack.com and use MLG15 off to get yourself 15% off on your next order of some real, real jacks. Uh, that's not the only recall. Oh, yeah? Uh, Honda slash Acura, they announced a pretty big recall. Um, 140,000... 2008, 2009 vehicles have fuel pump. 2018, problems. 2019. Is that what I said? You said 2008, 2009. See? 2018, 2019. Same thing, really. So basically... These, I live in the past. Forgive me. From my understanding, <laughs> these things are just randomly stalling. And that is your wife's car as the poster child. It's the exact car. <laughs> it's the exact car. So we're going to... Wow. So we're going to get that into the dealership and um, we're going to tell you how the experience is and everything. Right. And then before before anyone, because I can see the comments now, someone's going to come in and go, oh, you have a Honda car. Your wife drives a Honda car. My wife drives a Nissan. Y'all saying USA made this. And that's just stop. <laughs> if you have a wife, you understand how this works. Maybe you don't, but you should. When wifey says, I want the shiny red Honda Accord, wifey gets it because husband does not want to hear it for the rest of his life. And that's how these and things work. It may not be an American, but it's, an, it's a reliable car. It's a reliable car, and a lot of these cars are being at least built in America now by an American hand. So that says something. Because uh, even, even our domestic manufacturers have gotten in this habit of outsourcing their manufacturing for everything, and even the assembly outside of the United States of America. And luckily, that's starting to collapse back into America. And that's a good thing. We want to see these products built and assembled back in the United States again. So if you are one of the people with a Honda, um, you should really go take care of this before your car stalls out in traffic. Um, so that includes the 2018 and 2019 Acura NSX and the 2019 RDX, the RLX, and the RLX Hybrid. Plus the 2019 Honda Accord Civic Hatchback, Civic Type R. 136,000 some odd units. And the HRV 2019 Fit in the, in the 2019 2020 Insight. I mean, that's most of their lineup. Yeah, it's pretty much all of them. Um, so that's, a, like I said, 136,000 some odd units. Um, Y'all, please bring your vehicles in, get them fixed. If, if you've never had the privilege of driving old vehicles, clunkers that you have to fix all the time, I did. I know Mikey did. And, you know, always had a new vehicle and never experienced something like a random stall. It always happens at the worst time. You are at an intersection, you're trying to jump, and it's going to stop in the middle of two-lane traffic while cars are coming at you at 50 mile an hour. It could get people killed or injured. Y'all should make sure to bring those vehicles in and get them repaired. Exactly. Uh, we have another recall. These are your, your buddies right here. Toyota recalls 2019-2020 RAV4s over faulty lower suspension arm. You know, this is surprising from Japan. You know, I've always... <laughs> Japan produces some amazing electronics, and they are known for an extreme attention to detail, even in auto manufacturing. It's, it's just a thing. I don't care how American you made you are about everything. You know that Toyota makes some pretty astoundingly reliable products at Japan in general. To hear something like the lower control arm might detach and cause an accident is a little bit alarming. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's just, I have never heard of such a extreme defect other than like the unintended acceleration or the Takata airbag, but the Takata airbag thing applied to many manufacturers. Your wife had that, huh? She had she that did. car that tried to kill you. Yes, yeah, she my wife experienced unintended acceleration in her shiny, I think it was a twenty fifteen Camry. Yeah. Brand new experienced unintended acceleration. What else we got? I know you gotta be excited about that. Yeah. 
So the 2021 Ford Bronco is finally coming. The debut is set for July. I am so happy to hear COVID. My birthday wish. <laughs> yeah, COVID did not fully stop the uh, the Ford Bronco from coming inside of a recent a decent amount of time. It is kind of astonishing that it's 2021. Um, maybe because it's going to take this long, we might even get to see a Raptor Bronco. Uh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, for all of you that'd be cool. who aren't familiar with the channel and are wondering why we're such big Bronco fans, other than the Bronco being cool, uh, we also built a Power Stroke 7.3 Bronco. And it is by far one of our favorite builds. Unfortunately, it was pre-YouTube channel, but we have videos explaining how to in the build process and us jumping and flipping things with the Broncos. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Y'all go check that out. And the more people that subscribe, the more willing we are to do stupid things. <laughs> we proved that in our, when we hit the 250 mark. We did. When we hit 250 subscribers, we jumped the... Paula, is that correct? So we bought a clunker. We ran over it with the Bronco. We jumped it. We flipped it. We did all kinds of crazy stuff with the Bronco. Um, sometime soon here, we'll come up with our next crazy target. Uh, now that we're collecting literal pennies off of YouTube AdSense, <laughs> uh, we'll spend literal pennies on something <laughs> to do crazy uh, if y'all help us get to some target. Uh, speaking of Broncos, if you want the opportunity, you can actually enter to win. Not here, unfortunately. Maybe one day we'll be giving away something cool. <laughs> Maybe so. But they have a sweepstakes where you can win a 400 horsepower electric 68 Bronco. I mean, it is electric. It kind of kills the cool factor for me. I mean, it's interesting. But, I mean, it, it, it's different. It's definitely very it looks unique. Cool. I mean... I would enter. I'm going to enter. I'm gonna I'll, put, enter I'll put the link down below. To win a 400 horsepower all electric 68 Bronco. I will put Mo the link down mainly because 68 Bronco <laughs> may or may not accidentally put a real motor back in it. I'm I mean, sorry. You know, if the electric engine, motor it's blows got up. a real motor in it, put an engine in it. The electric motor blows up, you know. <laughs> so, Bentley, I know you're a huge fan of Bentley. You've had a lot of them, right? Sure. <laughs> like, yeah. If I, no, stop. If I, as a YouTuber, do something silly like buy a Bentley and try to fix it, one of you need to slap me. Either the viewers through the camera or you. I have not seen a single YouTuber do a Bentley project, like build a Bentley project or repair a Bentley project that has been successful on that. Like You may be the first. Like, we're just remotely <laughs> successful. No. I, like, I need a good hard smack if I start talking about Bentleys. Well, the cool thing about Bentley is they've had the longest running... V8. So, um, Bentley's 6.8 liter engine, longest V8 in continuous production, is dead. Wrap your mind around this. 68 years they've been producing the 6.8 liter V8, and it's finally going to end. Look at that. Probably should have happened about 30 or so years ago. <laughs> Uh, it's never been a super high specific power a output motor. Engine, it is. It is an enormous engine, extremely Jeez. overbuilt. I mean, that's kind of sad. You know, they've got a, a pair of gentlemen in here that have obviously been working in that factory for quite a while. They look like they were in the on the original team. Or like. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Maybe so. <laughs> um, it's always see the sad to see the end of an era, but maybe that means something bigger and better for them. Isn't Bentley part of VW Group now? I believe so, yeah. It is. So We went through a whole long list. Yeah, it's, it's going to get some, some other high-efficiency, high-power, specific output VW motor, I'm sure. Is it just me, or do I feel like Toyota is a rice company now? <laughs> like, their, if their you're, improvements are... If you're going to put Toyota in this, you're going to have to do Honda, too. Because the whole goofy thing of taking every car they have and making it sporty by putting a spoiler and body kits on it has got to stop. If these people don't start putting turbos and like coilover suspension and big brakes on cars, we're going to have to take away their manufacturer car. Like just like you can't you can't sell cars in America anymore. Just stop. I mean, how does Pride though? They have the Type R and they have the SI. The, the, the Corolla. Do. What does the Corolla have? They have a it is really beautiful cool new red, red paint. Beautiful red and a nice paint. Nice spoiler and black red. Some big old black wheels and a spoiler. Race car. That's all you need. I mean, rice. Right. That's all it's about. So, Toyota came out with a special edition 
uh, Corolla, and it's a really beautiful shade of red. It is. It's and a pretty it color. Some It'll look great on a Camry. Yeah. And a RAV4. But that, that's all you get. Right. I mean, no turbo. Same 169 horsepower. And a CVT. Well, at least look, they're putting a six-speed manual option, so I'll, I'll give them that. I'll, there you go. Keep the manual alive. We we need the third pedal more in our lives these days. But you know what? It is, it is uh, getting better, though. <laughs> I can give props to... Uh, Mazda. Check it out. Mazda 3 will get a turbo option. This doesn't surprise me. It's probably not going to be a race car. It's probably going to be some sky active, high efficiency stuff. But you know what? But it's a turbo. It's a start. They're making moves. So, I mean, like we said before, maybe these manufacturers do watch Tour Room Confessions. They don't watch Tool Room Confessions. They but might, because we said it here first that that is a beautiful car, and they need to add a turbo. And they they, well, we did say that, didn't we? Yeah. If y'all were listening, Mazda, good job. Good work. <laughs> good work. <laughs> well, we're uh, we're not going to bore y'all anymore with automotive news. We, uh, we really appreciate y'all coming along. This one is probably going to come to y'all a little earlier than you, you're used to, just because we're trying to introduce y'all to our new sponsor and get y'all prepared for these series of videos that are about to come out about the jack stands. We really, really appreciate y'all time. Uh, y'all need to go visit murphyslawgarage.com. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube, of course. We're on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of those fun things. When you go to murphyslawgarage.com, please sign up for our forums and uh, post your project in there so we can take a look at it and talk about it. Uh, also, please visit usjack.com and use that 15% off discount code, MLG15OFF. And if you've noticed anything different about the video, um, we have to give props to, um, what's his name, Texas Boy? Texas Boy? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, yeah, I don't remember exactly what his name is. I'm trying to pull it up the internet. just to Yeah, it's that. not going to. We're, we're out in the middle of nothing it. behind uh, Mikey's house. Yeah, Texas boy, something like that. He, he said to us, hey, I really enjoyed the video, but there was too much cursing. So even though we bleep out the cursing, it's making some people uncomfortable. We will do our best to limit the amount of cursing. And if one of us does get passionate enough that we do curse... We'll make sure that it's edited out well enough that you get the intent. Um, but anyways, I think that's it. Yeah. We, we appreciate uh, you. We appreciate all of y'all. Uh, you know, we're just getting this ball rolling. Uh, y'all stick around for greater, bigger, better things. Uh, we're here to please our viewers. Hopefully you're pleased. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week. Until next week. Bye. Peace. He is pissed, guy. Don't be nervous. You don't understand. I know Walsh pretty well. We got four flip flaps right here. He may be a red Walsh, but he is very, very angry. That is a murder hornet. We got a flip flap. Where is he? He did. Oh, God, Mikey. You Can you at least give me a chance to get the hell out of here? Yeah, we're ready to get out. Oh, you can hit him my way, huh? Oh! Get him! Get him! Jump on him! Get him! Get him! Die!